Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna and you're watching Orchid D. Um, just a really random update today. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys this new plant that I've got from the markets last week. Um, and also just give you a little update on how my Oncidiums are doing after their repots. So if you haven't seen it already, I will link you up to my Oncidium repot video from about uh, a few weeks ago. Um, the repot was done about a month ago uh, and a couple of the orchids were a little bit sick. So I thought we could just see how they've um, gone after the repotting. Uh, but this orchid, I did post it up on my community page and also on a couple of Facebook pages just to see if you guys could help me ID it. But I have found an ID for it actually, so I just wanted to share it with you. But it is a beautiful plant and these flowers are huge and ridiculously fragrant. In fact, when I was walking through the nursery, it was actually the, the fragrance that caught my attention and then I had a look and uh, I just couldn't pass this one up. She's just too beautiful. Um, but you can see how solid she is. Huge pseudobulbs there. And you can see this is actually another sheath. It's got a slight swelling at the base there and um, a sheath here as well and I think you might be able to see it but there's a little swelling there so I think there's a flower spike growing in there as well um, these sheets look ridiculous don't they they're absolutely massive uh, so for that reason I thought it might be um, like maybe a purpurata but at the very least a purpurata cross um, and I put that out there and uh, a lot of you guys responded that yeah it's probably maybe a primary hybrid of some sort um, but someone also said that I should check out the cat layer rubra so I googled that and it's actually um, a variety it's a cat layer labiata rubra and it does look very similar but also just not quite so I actually ended up facebooking um, the nursery and they contacted the uh, supplier for me so it's actually um, a Lelia peperata crossed with Cattleya labiata um, variation rubra and um, they said it was called a Cattleya bella so yeah I found out what it is it's got an ID I will stick a tag in um, but yeah she is just such a beautiful plant and I had to show you guys Alright, so about a month ago I made a um, repotting video, which I will put a link up to here, but I repotted three Oncidiums and I thought it would be nice for you guys to just see how they're going after the repotting. Um, so there's good news and bad news. Um, so this was definitely by far the worst one. Um, it had a mealy bug infestation and it had um, basically a whole half of it went in the bin and this one got a bleach solution um, anyway very shortly after I repotted it there was a, another growth here which slowly lost all its leaves and rotted off so I cut it and put some dragon's blood in I always did think it was a really weird thing that the middle growth should rot but the other two would be okay however I looked back at the video and it does appear that both growths were coming out of this back bulb so that explains why only one of them rotted however this morning I did find this darkness there can you see at the base of that back pseudo bulb how it's dark um, so that's all pretty soft in there so I'm gonna have to bin this orchid unfortunately um, I could not save it um, luckily this Wilson R eye candy pinky is a pretty common find at orchid shows around here um, and there's some local nurseries which stock it too you can probably get like a mature plant for 20 bucks or something so uh, you know you win some you lose some but I did learn quite a bit from this little orchid um, it was basically snail damage um, that did it in and then yeah it just never could recover from that and we did our best but it's time to move on so I'm gonna chuck that in the bin straight after this video so the Oncidium that we repotted together was this Banfield Ara Gilded Tower Mystic Maze um, it had a quite a nice root system it had these two growths coming up there um, and I have had a few comments from um, a few viewers 
which have stated that their Banfieldara mystic mazes have handled repotting very badly and their root systems had failed afterwards um, to the point of some of them not recovering. Um, so after I repotted this one, it did become a bit loose in the pot. So you can see I've staked it up. This second growth as well became a little bit loose, like it was still attached, but it was loose on there, just, which is why I've staked it up. But um, you can see down there all the new little roots that both the growths are popping out now. Um, let's have a look on this side. So you can see down the bottom there all those little roots coming through. So that's an incredibly positive sign. Um, this growth here has continued to grow this leaf and there's another one coming out there. I believe this growth, the one that was a little bit loose, um, you can see it wobbling a little bit there, has stalled. So I don't think it's going to grow anymore. Um, but once those roots go in, it will establish itself and stop wobbling about. So uh, I'm really, really pleased about that because that is a sure sign that this plant is going to be okay. Um, those roots are just going to dig in. They look really healthy uh, and the plant will be okay. So yeah, that is definitely really good news about the Banfieldara. I was really worried there for a second, but um, I think it's going to recover just fine. And over here, this is the last plant that we repotted together. I just want to show you this little shelf, but I've got quite a few little oncidiums opened up at the moment. But we're talking about this one, and she is Wilsonara Tan Treasures Poppy Pleasure. Um, and this was um, in spike when I got it, and I did find some snails on the spike, so I was just forced to repot it. Um, Anyway, it was a funny thing because this plant's spike stopped growing. However, the buds kept developing and so it's flowered now and it is a really, really pretty and cute flower. So look at that. Um, I just thought that was really interesting actually. So these back bulbs have shriveled up somewhat um, because it's obviously still trying to establish its roots and bloom at the same time. But for now, I'm just keeping an eye on it. It doesn't look too bad. If it starts to get really, really skinny and shriveled, um, I might have to lose the flower spike. But at the moment, it's not too bad. It's shriveled, but it's still got a lot of substance to it. So I'm just going to enjoy these blooms for a little bit longer. All right. And just before I go, guys, I thought I'd show you this little Cattleya Mendelii that came in the mail. So this was an orchid from the same seller as the Cattleya Doiana. And if you haven't seen the video, I will put a link up just because this might not make a lot of sense unless you've seen that video. But um, basically, I was meant to get the two orchids that I won them both in two separate auctions from this seller and only the Doiana arrived. Um, and so I emailed the seller and he said, oh, well, the, this orchid must have gotten um, put in the mail with someone else. Um, he said, would I be happy if he was just to send me a replacement Mendelii and also an extra seedling at no um, extra postage cost or anything. Um, so I actually won the Mendelii for like $42, which is really expensive, right? But it was on my um, wish list. It looked like a healthy little plant. Um, Anyway, so I did say, look, I'd only want to buy it if it was the same size, so can you supply a picture? Um, otherwise, I'll just get a refund. So a week went by, um, and anyway, I just said, look, I'm still waiting for the photo. And the next day, I think he sent me a photo, but I also at the same time got a second chance offer on another plant, yet another plant that I was bidding on. And it was on a Cattleya violacea variation Flamia. And I'll put a picture up if I can find it still, but it was an absolutely stunning flower. So I would have loved the plant, but the second chance offer was for $185, which um, I really didn't want to pay. Anyway, the picture of the replacement plant came through and it was a bit smaller than the original. Um, so I just emailed the seller and asked, look, what do you think if um, I accepted the replacement Mendelii, but instead of the seedling, you could give me a discount on the Cattleya violacea? 
um, and then you know I'd be happy for that uh, just let me know so maybe four days went by no response um, emailed again no response and so maybe another three or four days later so this was just a couple of days ago um, I wrote look I haven't heard a response from you please respond by completion of business tomorrow otherwise I'm just gonna have to ask eBay for a refund like I'm gonna have to demand a refund um, so I received an immediate response um, saying that it was already sent so yeah I was writing okay I thank you email and uh, as I was writing it, like three different messages came through with the tracking number and then what is COB and because um, I wrote COB instead of completion of business and then like this, I haven't even replied yet at this stage and this is the message um, I got sent. So um, I don't sell off eBay for a reduced price to nebbies or newbies. Um, sorry, you just made my band list and the nurseries. Um, so it's obviously all in capitals, like his other emails went. So I think he's yelling, yelling at me. And so I deleted my thank you, obviously. And um, yeah, I just, I wrote back asking why he didn't respond to my initial emails um and just gave him some feedback that it was just a really unpleasant transaction um like and i've i've paid him so much money and i was offering to buy more plants off him um but yeah why why would you why would you ban someone so weird um and so yeah i just i said look you're obviously not going to get a very good review from me and then i received you will receive a letter from a lawyer within two weeks what a psycho oh my god so yeah that was um, quite possibly the worst eBay experience of my life and look you know I I think that I'm a pretty good buyer I'm pretty reliable I pay straight away um, I give repeat business to people who give good quality plants with good customer service i always have um but yeah these experiences just leave a really sour taste in your mouth and what i will say is that this seller has like really good reviews right but um it's so worrying how quickly that escalated for him like so yeah i'm just putting it out there to be wary um and i guess just aware that these things happen it's the modern world and we are um ebay is a place where people are posting to your address and so yeah it's um it's not exactly completely private it's just something for everyone out there to be conscious of so yep that's um my ebay story i hope you guys learn from my mistakes anyway somehow so anyway guys um thanks for watching this update please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more orchid videos hope you guys have a great week and happy growing until i see you next time